Hello Square Falcons, hello and welcome to Bergen here in Norway, Trollhaven. This is my lovely house, the house, the house that is called Troll Hill. And I've got my little pussy cat up here. Come on up here, push. Meow. Yes, I couldn't get a dog here in Norway. They are so expensive. All I could afford was a mangy old cat. This cat is 16 years old. Her name is Pu Pushka. I think it means I think it means sick in uh in the Norwegian, she is very sick anyway, she's a very sick animal, but she's imagined, she, like me, she's managed to outlast all the predictions. Here I am, 200 years later, everybody thinks I'm just a stuffed dummy in the corner. Well, I am a kind of dummy, <laughs> but no, I am actually real still alive. I am just sitting in my favorite rocking chair. Oh, I'm still rocking, yeah, still rocking in my favorite rocking chair in my house, which is now a museum. Every day thousands of people go past me and they don't even realize I'm actually alive. I'm just secretly in composing in my head. Anyway, I found this great new instrument. It's called the accordion, the track spiel, the push, the push accordion, the push play. Uh, and, or is it a pull play? I can't remember. My Norwegian is terrible, even though I'm Norwegian. Because my great-grandfather was Scottish, you see. I've never learned the language properly, even though I've been here for several hundred years. Uh, anyway, I found this lovely new instrument. It's so much better than the piano because I can walk around, I can dance around uh, and be very entertaining. Uh, I can't believe this cat is still... Oh, I was going to say, I spoke too soon. I can't believe the cat is still here. The cat is not here anymore. Anyway, I have this fake cat ready for the replacement. There we are. I don't need you, you little bugger. I will eat you for breakfast tomorrow. Okay, that was a lovely tune called Morning Glory. Perhaps you know it. I wrote it. Yeah, <laughs> but yours truly. Yeah, I know. I'm just so talented. Anyway, it's, it's wonderful to be uh, Norway's most famous person because nobody in Norway has done anything very much since then. Uh, although I must say that my music is quite uh, unbelievably good. Uh, let me play another little piece uh, that you may recognize. This is called um, the... Uh, uh, what is it? It's the, uh, the Hall of the Mountain King. Oh yeah, Peer Kint. It's just a little project that is a side thing when I was having a break from doing some of my more serious music. But anyway, it's what everybody remembered now. Excuse me, I'm just going to tuck it into my collar a little bit. This was the hairstyle from the early uh, 1800s. No, the late 1800s. I can't even remember when I was born. Never mind. Uh, I don't even have this much hair anymore. It's all false. But hey, it looks pretty convincing on this new television contraption. Right, I'm going to play something now which is not even Norwegian. It is <gasps> Swedish. Oh, it's the worst thing I could possibly say in Norway. Yes, apart from Fifan, which is very rude apparently. Don't repeat it. Now, uh, Swedish is bad because Sweden used to own Norway. Yes, they own oh my god! Another di disastrous mustache failure. I cannot believe that this happened in the middle of one of my exotic shows in another country. Oh my god, thank goodness I have got the shows. Palindromic, only palindromic glue. Yoo-hoo! Even in a show that comes to you backwards. We have... The glue that works in every situation. Well, it didn't work there, did it? 
Rubbish, actually. Don't know why I bother. Still never giving me a sponsorship deal. There we go. Thank God I had the Yuhu to have. Whoo! All is well with the world again. Yeah, it's a sweetest tune. It's a terrible, but it's a really nice tune. It's called Gordebu Lawton. And uh, I just hope I can remember it. Oh, I don't think I can. Uh, oh, no, I can. <laughs> Tune, I think it'll agree, even if it is from the terrible, our terrible overlords from the past, the Swedish. Now we just make jokes about the Swedish people. Oh, hello to my sw Swedish friends and Jimmy and Christopher in Torshackle in Sweden. I was just a joke, by the way, about the Swedish thing. We're all friends, we're all Scandinavia. Now, I'm going to play one more tune for you, which is called Kom e Komo Lai Me Mai. That is not. Uh, an invitation for you ladies out there. I don't know many of you would like to come on live with me because that is what it means. It means come and live with me. Come or live me my. It's not that difficult. It's not that different from English, really. The Norwegian is quite easy. Okay, here it goes. I've not played this for quite a few many years. <laughs> Ah, oh, 
lovely. Come on, I'm in my. What a wonderful instrument the accordion is. I'm so glad they invented it since I was born. Now I'm just about to go back and uh, assume the position in my museum house where nobody realizes I'm still alive. But first, I'd like to show you to a wonderful uh, invention that's been invented since I uh, sat down in this chair 200 years ago. Look at this. It's called Stiff. I know it's written backwards, but this is a proper Norwegian product. It looks like a joke. It is for the, if you have the nighttime troubles, you just stand up, spray it on. Wow, instantly stiff. Fantastic. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Starts for shirts? No. Ah, oh, it's rubbish. I can't believe I've been using it all these years. Anyway, before I go, I'd like to introduce you to my lovely wife. Uh, she is actually the brains behind this whole operation. Uh, many people think that I composed all these fabulous tunes, but actually I'm just an idiot. Like most men, it was my wife in history that did everything, and I took all the credit for it. So now, finally, I would like to thank her. Nina! Nina, darling! Hello. Come and meet the people! Oh, Hello. oh, here she is. Here, I'll take this pretend cat off your chair. Ah. Oh. Uh, Hello, everybody. Oh, this Hello. is my lovely wife, Nina. She is also still alive after all those hundreds of years and still, as you can see, quite a beauty. Yes. And, uh, what have you been doing today, Nina? Well, I wanted to compose, but the three billy goats were needing to be looked after. Ah, the three billy goats? That is a very famous Norwegian story. And I'm afraid the trolls have been causing trouble. You mean the trolls have eaten all the little billy goats gruff? <laughs> The big billy goat get up. Big oh, billy goat. Well, I hope they left a little bit of them for for our tea later because I'm very hungry today. And it's always nice to have you sitting next My to me in the rocking chair. My genius, you will be fine. You will be fine. <laughs> thank you. Let's say goodbye to the people at home. Bye bye. Goodbye. Thank bye -bye. you for watching. Oh my God! You think that in a country with so many beautiful women, that I could find somebody that could have been friends with your wife? But I have to be Europe. Anyway, good <laughs> job. Thank you. <laughs> That's excellent. Mike, you've done a great job. Honestly, but I just, I mean. God, they thought somebody would have, one of these young girls would have stepped into the job. Oh, God, have I left that one again? Oh, no.